to 74 in 74, we dedicate a little longer than 74 seconds to tell you what's coming up in our very own independent cinema here at Exeter Phoenix. I'm joined by another special guest, which is very exciting for me. I've got Robin Lawrence, who's here from Reclaim the Frame, who's going to be talking about pleasure in a moment. Hi, hi, Robin. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. <laughs> um, so first of all, we're going to talk about what films we've got coming up this week. We've got Top Gun. I don't think we need to explain anything about that film if you don't know about it. It's a few reviews online, but that's going to be running all week. Uh, just a bit of a guilty pleasure. We've also got Good Luck to Leah Grande coming back after some popular requests because it did so well and a few people still uh, managed to miss it. Um, and then we have got Food on Film Fest screening Biggest Little Farm, which is a gorgeous documentary about a couple who take up a old almond farm in California and turn it into this amazing biodiverse environment. Um, and that's going to be shared in partnership with the University of Exeter Food MA and Food Network. And also we're going to be having a seed saving workshop alongside that, which is really special. Um, let's talk about pleasure. Robin, Give us a lay down. What's it about? Well, <clears throat> pleasure is it's a so it's an honest look at the adult film industry in America, but it's seen through the eyes of a, a very ambitious newcomer, Bella Cherry, who comes from Sweden. She's nineteen, and it's it's all through her perspective. But it's a really nice look, and it gives everyone in that film agency. It's really beautifully shot. It's honest. A lot of the actors working in it do work in the industry as well. So it's a really nice way to kind of reframe how people see things. I found it really unjudgmental all the way through as well. And yeah. I quite like how she wasn't the victim. There are moments which are hard to watch and moments where you have to really question why she's doing it. But I think she, I think she uses that and takes that forward into her career choices. Yeah, and, and it's, like yeah. A, it's a workplace film and it's yeah. treated like a workplace film. Yeah. And kind of similar... It's a very different film to Good Luck to You, Leo Grande, but <laughs> <laughs> it is similar in that it treats people, uh, sex workers, who can decide to have that profession and yeah. can be proud of that profession. So. And there's some really positive stories in there as well, like when she's working with female directors and teams that really nurture her skills and and help her, you know, process what, what work she's doing. Yeah. So pleasure. That's on fourth for four screenings in partnership with uh, Reclaim the Frame. And um, Reclaim the Frame is a partnership we've had at Exeter Phoenix for um, many years, but it's the first kind of film we've had back properly, I think, maybe since the pandemic. Um, so could you give us just a little bit of info on Reclaim the Frame? Yeah, so Reclaim the Frame um, champion, support and promote films by female and non-binary filmmakers. So we've had a few titles. So uh, Ali and Ava was a title. We the Reclaim the Frame, isn't it? We, I think the first title we ever had was, I'm thinking back, was Wild Rose, oh, um, yeah. which was gorgeous. Um, and then we've had some kind of more niche titles like Birds of Passage. Um, so they cover a really broad range yeah, of Yeah, massive broad range, but kind of stuff that might need kind of a little bit more of a push just for people to see it. So yeah. it's not necessarily got your Top Gun budget, but, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but kind of worth watching and worth supporting and seeing different perspectives. The art of good programming, job going and pleasure. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and to end with, we also are screening a very special cinema event, Explorer, which is about the world's greatest explorer, Sir Ronald Fiennes. And this film goes beyond his achievements and really explores the man behind the myth. Um, and it kind of covers all aspects of his life and explores what created this inspirational, brave and slightly unhinged person. Um, so that's a one-off screening event on the 14th of July. Um, so tickets are available online and you can find out all the information about our screening times there as well. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Thank you.